Uh, the eclipse that we have happening today uh, is a, an annular solar eclipse. And so that's when the moon passes in front of the sun and doesn't quite block all of the sun. Um, a little ring of the sun will actually uh, light up behind the moon. And so you get what some folks call the ring of fire eclipse, where there's a ring of bright uh, material around the moon. So that's an annular eclipse. This is different from a total solar eclipse, like the one we had back in 2017, where the moon actually blocks out all of the disk of the sun and it's completely dark for a while. Annular eclipses are relatively rare because you can imagine getting the moon to line up just right so that just a little bit of the sun peaks around the edge. That doesn't happen too often. But solar eclipses happen pretty frequently, once or twice a year usually. Um, they're not always visible from everywhere on the surface of the Earth though because the moon's shadow is so small, we have to, you have to get lucky and have the moon's shadow pass overhead in order to see the moon completely block out the disk of the sun. But eclipses themselves, solar eclipses, are not all that rare. You just can't always see them from, from where you live. There's a total solar eclipse coming up in April of 2024. That total solar eclipse, that's when the moon will completely block out the disk of the sun. Uh, unfortunately for us in Idaho, the, the track of the moon's shadow won't pass through Idaho. It, it's going to go from Texas kind of up toward the northeast uh, into the northeastern United States. So we won't actually have a total solar eclipse visible from Idaho next year, but there will still be a partial eclipse you could see from, from Idaho. Uh, 